Greetings, it's me Terry making another video. I thought I'd make this video about the Doom options menu. Namely because it's the kind of thing that I would want to look into before buying a game. I would like to know what the options menu looks like and what are the kinds of things that I can change. And I have to tell you, there are a lot of options here that are really nice. Um, if you don't want that glory kill highlight every time you're about to kill an enemy, you can turn it off. You don't have to see them glow. I thought the glow looked kind of silly myself. So if you want to turn that off, that's possible. You can turn off the HUD if you don't like that showing up on your screen. If you can keep in your head the amount of ammo you have and that sort of thing then by all means play without it play without the compass if you want you don't want to know how much health the boss has you can turn that off too interaction prompts yeah I don't really need those objective notifications markers update and tutorials a lot of people probably would just want to turn the tutorial thing off because they don't want that popping up during their gameplay but there's really not that many pop-ups to be honest at least within the first two hours of the game I didn't see much mouse and keyboard options I love that you can set your key bindings and like have two keys do the same thing I love it when games let you do that a note to all game developers out there the more options the better and having multiple key bindings for the same for different keys for one action I love that I wish all games did that. You got your volume settings here. Video settings. I'm using a 1080p monitor. I really wish I had something better, but not yet. I've got all the all the settings set as high as I can possibly put them at 1080p I think 90 field of view is good enough I think on average people are gonna play from 90 to 110 I think that's a good range of what field of view is although they do allow you to put it up pretty high I think it goes up to 130 yeah 130 but I didn't think that looked right I'll probably put it at like a hundred that's me personally I think a hundred's a good balance and here we are in advanced I've got everything in ultra as high as you can set it I don't like depth of field so I turned that off and I love this unique little thing you don't see this in many options menus but here you can show performance metrics and that's what you see to the right side of the screen here one thing about it though that I don't quite understand is that I'm using three GTX 980s in SLI but according to the metrics here it's only reading one of them I guess so I don't know what's up with that Maybe the game is not ready for SLI. 
maybe they'll add SLI performance later on but whether it's using the SLI or not my performance has been pretty damn good my FPS rate during gameplay has fluctuated around a hundred sometimes it's in the 90s sometimes it's in lower hundreds so I, I'm inclined to think that the 980 SLI is working it's just not being displayed in the metrics for whatever reason so yeah whatever there you go that's it I'm loving the game I haven't heard too many complaints about the game other than the multiplayer sucking it was made by a different company certain affinity I think they did like they did other console games like Halo and such so yeah everyone was kinda disappointed with the multiplayer but yeah this this has been pretty fun I've enjoyed it I played about two hours And yeah, I just thought I'd make a an options menu video. So there you have it. Hey, what a mess. Until next time, guys. Take care and have a lovely day.